what lies beneath these creepy Roman ruins. Here, in the sticky, siren-soaked, dystopian urban nightmare which is Leicester, you find a Roman oddity, the Jewry Wall. God knows why it's called that, but the reason that I'm so excited to be here, standing among these stones of ancient baths and so much that gives away the Roman and indeed pre-Roman roots of this otherwise extremely manky city, is the story of King Lear. Because this Jewry wall, this whole area was built over by the Romans in about 200 AD. And one thing that we know about the Romans is that wherever they invaded, and wherever they built, they were building on something much, much older that they found when they got here. Not only something much older, but something very important and much older. And the founding legend of the city of Leicester is the tale of King Lear. And it is said that at the end of his terrible story with the storm and the fools and the battles and the Cordelia and the Regan and the Goneril, at the end of all that, at the end of his whole life when Cordelia had beaten the armies of Goneril and Regan and uh, established him back on his throne here in the tribe, what would it be? Iron Age? Bronze Age? Iron Age, I should imagine. The tribe of King Lear right here. After he died, the legend tells us that Queen Cordelia laid Lear to rest here in the city of Leicester on the banks of the River Saw, which is a little bit over there. But in those days, of course, the Saw would probably have come right up to this area. And he was said to have been laid to rest in a temple devoted to the god Janus, on whichever real god that was that the Romans came along and called Janus, of course, we cannot guess. But it does mean that although people do come here, or used to come here, to celebrate the Roman roots of Leicester, they can't do it at the moment because sadly the museum seems to have been shut for a very long time. It's all completely locked up. I was going to try and leg it over, <laughs> over the fence here, but I'm not going to risk it. They come here to celebrate the Roman roots of Leicester, but I cannot help believing that somewhere here, under these Roman stones, you will find an Iron Age burial, somewhere in what remains of a temple, and maybe even, I wouldn't really dare to believe, the actual bones, the remains of a many thousand year old British chieftain that we came to remember as King Lear. It's nice to believe it anyway. And if you don't really like the idea, if you don't really go for it, then there is another Shakespearean anti-hero just up the road, of course, uh, the tomb of Richard III. It's possible that Brother Bernard was slightly unfair on Leicester just then, but it's a very hot and sticky day and there's been a lot of tramping around town and it was very annoying to get to the Jewry Wall Museum and find it all completely closed up and very unloved and covered in graffiti and everything. But uh, having come round to this little area where there's Leicester Castle over there and a bit of history about John of Gaunt and all that kind of thing, it seems that uh, Leicester might have a lot in common with Coventry as another place with great history and folklore to it but uh, sadly um, you come to these bits here that anywhere where there's a little bit of crumbly masonry basically and you get an idea of what the city may once have been like and what the city could have been like but like Coventry like a lot of British cities the place has been kicked around a lot over the centuries and in the 20th century clearly rebuilt by absolute maniac vandals, which makes the vast majority of the city absolutely disgusting, horrible to the eye and not pleasant. But when you come to these kind of areas, and there's a wonderful park there down on the river saw, maybe right above the, the 
burial chamber of Lear. There's a wonderful storytelling maypole kind of area where Brother Bernard would love to do a storytelling show one day. So if you do come here to see Richard III or for whatever reason, do enjoy these ancient green bits of Leicester and try and turn a blind eye to the bits up there where there are a lot of messed up people sitting on benches and needles and...